I'm Mike Chapo. Welcome to this segment of Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to discuss balusters. Normally, we'll see balusters on open stairwells or return stairwells. Those are the stairs that go up and wrap around. When we're going up, the hose line will stretch around the balusters and the newel posts. When the second line comes up, it also goes the same way. Often, those lines will bind up. There's oftentimes two when firemen are operating on the second floor, things go bad, they try to get to the stairwell and everybody comes down. If we remove the balusters, like the demonstration we're going to show you, you'll see a way to stretch a hose line or get off the second floor in an emergency. It's quick and easy, and it offers us access and egress. The second line can come up, and now go in. Now that we created this opening, again, the second hose line could come up and not get caught on the newel post with the first one. Also, if things and conditions got so bad up on this floor, a firefighter could come down and just exit right off and get down quicker than everybody fighting to get around the newel post. In emergency situations, he probably could even come down head first, knowing it's gonna be a little bit of a drop, but just being prepared to hit one of the stairs. If you find you don't have a hand tool and you're stretching a line up and everything's getting bunched up, you can use a mule kick. I'll now demonstrate how to use your leg to mule kick some of the balusters out. You can mule kick one out and you also can use the other baluster as a striking tool. Remember, this is a real quick tactic to use to get a second line up so it's not pinching on the first line, and it's also an emergency escape route for guys operating on these floors. I'm Mike Champo. Thanks to American Military University for sponsoring this training.